race for Kentucky governor is heating up, and the candidates came face to face this morning for their second live debate. Kentucky Sports Radio host Matt Jones moderated the discussion between Republican Matt Bevan, Democrat Jack Conway, and Independent Drew Curtis. The candidates touched on several key issues, including same sex marriage, pensions, casino gambling, and who they support in the presidential election. Sean Moody has details. The candidates debated for about an hour, and they talked about a lot of things that have dominated the news lately, like Kim Davis, job creation, and funding the pensions. Casinos are one of the issues that come up pretty often in Kentucky politics. That's one thing Kentucky Sports Radio host Matt Jones asked the candidates about. And we have parasitic casinos lined up along our borders, and we're getting none of the revenue benefits. So I think the people of Kentucky ought to be able to vote on that. So we need our downsides to casinos. We've already got them. So if we have all the downside and none of the upside, this seems to me to be a slam dunk, and that's how I would evaluate that. Uh, I'm not a proponent of casino gambling. I think it's a sucker's bet. It's always fantastic to imagine that it's going to bring more money in. He also asked if they had to pick a presidential candidate to vote for today, who would it be? Drew Curtis picked Trump. All right, here's what Donald Trump does. Step one, everything's broken. Step three, we should fix it. Okay, fantastic. I like it so far. What's the step two? You would still vote for him without the step two. Uh, no, if he doesn't come up with one, I'm going to have to change what, to somebody else. Today, Bevin picked Ben Carson over Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, who is scheduled to campaign for Bevin in Frankfurt Saturday. I think the world of Rand. He's a friend of mine. He's been very gracious to me uh, and vice versa when he ran. But in terms of who I would select right now for the next president, he would not be the first choice that I would make. Okay. After the debate, Bevin tweeted that it wasn't an official endorsement. Conway refused to commit to any particular candidate. I'm going to say I intend to vote for the Democratic nominee. I just don't know who that is yet. So you won't give me an answer? No, I'm not going to give you an answer on that. Okay. Sean Moody, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. On October 25th, the candidates will meet in a televised debate at Eastern Kentucky University.